Hey, it's Pete, North Las Vegas. Hey, I thought I'd just do a quick update video today on my uh, 2005 Suzuki RMZ450 transmission that cut loose the other day. Um, I've already made quite a few videos on uh, splitting the cases and, and getting the thing apart. So today was just kind of uh, take a look at the transmission gears and make sure I get everything identified and get put together what I'm gonna order as far as the transmission. So um, this is what's called the drive side, and that's this right here. So there's no, there's no spacers, there's no bushings. It's all fits right on the shaft and there's sur clips. And there's one of the sur clips right there. There's another one on the back side. This I believe is, is pressed fit to the shaft because I looked up online and that's third gear and it comes with the shaft. So I got a feeling that's pressed on there. Um, if it's not pressed on there, then it comes with the shaft according to the parts microfish. So anyway, uh, this is what's called the drive. These are what's called the driven gears. So on fourth gear here that's this one right here and I've, I've got some stress pitting and that's not corrosion that's not damage from parts going through that's that's from stress and there's a few spots along a fourth gear uh, drive that are bad so I'm going to replace that um, most of these gears themselves on the driven side look good but what got hammered is there's supposed to be a dog slider in here and that's this part right here that blew up. And that's the uh, shift fork that went with it. So that's supposed to be in here and the dogs on this side of the gear and the dogs on this side of the gear are pretty well hammered. I mean, I could get by without replacing it, but so I've decided that and the same thing going on this side here. Um, the dogs are kind of worn. They're not real bad, but they're starting the edges are getting rounded on the on the gear. So I'm going to replace all four driven gears. I'm going to replace both dog sliders. I'm going to replace both shift forks. That's what the shift fork is supposed to look like. So anyway. Um, it might seem a little complicated and daunting putting this together once you've taken it apart and then you get everything mixed up like I did but um, just about every washer just about every bushing on this assembly only goes in one spot and just in case you're not sure you can go to the online microfish and you can look the washer sizes up and you can see that each one's a little different 20 by 28 by one 20 by 28 by half a millimeter and it goes on and on now there are two washers that are the same but they go on both sides of the same gear set and that's this uh 25 by 32 by one and 25 by 32 by one and those go on either side of these gears here so anyway um the suzuki manual wasn't really good about identifying what part was actually what I mean they show you all the parts and they show you where they go but they don't really tell you what they are so I had to go online and that's what all this pencil penciled in stuff is I went to the microfish online and identified each part what it is and luckily they listed the washer sizes so if you get this all tore apart and you forget where things go it's, it's pretty easy to figure out and then if you're not sure how big your washers are, that's what this was for. So once you get all your parts identified and, and roughly where they go, then there's another section of the manual back here that gives you a side view of where all the washers and bushings go. And these are the sur clips. Now these are no longer available from Suzuki. So I guess if you know what the size was and you know what the material was, then Maybe there's even other manufacturers that sell the same size, Yamaha, Kawasaki, or whatever, where you may be able to find these. 
but I, they're not available from Suzuki anymore. Um, all of this stuff is still available from Suzuki. And this is a side view. That's your sprocket. That's a chain link. So that's your chain, that's your sprocket. So now you know which side of the, the transmission you're looking at. So once I identified where these washers go, I went back and penciled in which ones they are. That's the index number on the microfish and the size of the washer. So once you get uh, once you get a few things sorted out this way, it, it wasn't so bad uh, putting this transmission back together. But I would say don't try to do this from memory. I guarantee you take this thing apart. You'll come back to it a few days later or a week later or two weeks later after your new parts show up. And you, you may or may not remember where this stuff goes and, and be able to put it back together. So um, I would say definitely you're gonna, you should have a book. And then like I said, as far as Suzuki goes, you're going to have to go to the online microfish to identify what the index numbers are for the parts. And then like I said, on the washers, you get the, uh, you get the washer size. So that kind of, the only other part that, yeah, let me hold this down, it's getting kind of windy. The only part that got a little squirrely for me, okay, so that goes up against the bearing. And this gear has a bushing. And there's another washer. Now, this can go on both, both ways. And you look at it and there's, not much difference in the dog sizes or the gear set. However, there is, let me get this in the sunlight. You can see a snap ring and there's a washer behind that snap ring. So in order for this dog slider to go on properly, you can see that that side is not recessed and that side has a recess. So this recess side goes up against the snap ring and the washer. So that solved that mystery. So now we're going to go back and uh, put this washer back on here, put the bushing back on, get the deer. And these are the dogs I was talking about. Some of them are kind of hammered and, and rounded over. Like you can see that one right there. It's kind of caught the edge a few times. Some full power shifts with the, without the clutch. I mean, not doing it on purpose, but... So anyway, that was the only kind of semi-tricky part to the driven side. And uh, like I said, I'm going to replace all the ears, the dog sliders, shift forks. So half of the transmission will be brand new. All right, later. Pete, North Las Vegas.